OnlyFans star has a brutal dating criteria that any partner must meet to go out with her. Another one? Look, I told your little friend I ain't paying for that! Oh, Jesus. I'm sure it is brutal, and we'll get to that in just a second, but welcome back, y'all. Hope y'all are having a great day. As you can see by the title, I'm back clowning on the goofy OnlyFans girls. These videos are just too much fun, truth be told, and they practically write themselves. This time, we're going to be discussing this woman's list of non-negotiables when it comes to having the absolute privilege of dating her. I'm sure it'll be a ton of fun and oh so educational, as always. An OnlyFans model has revealed she's resorted to putting together a brutal dating criteria for anyone who is thinking about asking her out, and it is not for the faint-hearted. Alicia Davis, who goes by at Little Brunette Batty on Instagram, has made thousands by posting adult content to subscription platform OnlyFans, an app used by countless models to share content of the explicit kind. Now given her platform as well as her previous experiences from dating, Alicia, who lives on Australia's Gold Coast, feels she has been forced to put together the checklist for anyone who wants to shoot their shot with her. And going by the criteria, 32-year-old Alicia, who used to be a prison officer, is pretty clear when it comes to what she wants. I've had many unsatisfactory dating experiences, but both the good and bad experiences and self-growth have taught me what I do and don't want, which is what shaped such a specific criteria, she said. All right, y'all, so we got to talk about this one. So you already know that absolute pearls of wisdom are imminent when it's coming from one of these OnlyFans girls. I really think that goes without saying, and I'm sure the list she's referring to is a reasonable one, right? Look, I'm gonna need y'all to shut the fuck up and to listen and learn. An OnlyFans girl is talking. <laughs> Jesus. We haven't even seen this list yet, and I already know it's terrible just by the way she's talking and referring to herself. You know, the whole the good and the bad, you know, the experience and subsequent self growth have taught me so much. Like, Jesus Christ, we, we all know someone like this that's just so over-the-top dramatic with everything. You know, she's really out here talking like she just experienced some sort of crazy, grand, life-altering experience, when in reality, she's really just referring to a breakup, something everyone experiences at one point or another. Like, take a look at what she says next. Y'all already know that she's somewhere out there getting this tatted on herself, or she's uploading it on the girly pop Instagram account after any sort of of minor inconvenience takes place. However, you know, in all fairness, I am getting a little ahead of myself. Let's let her explain herself further, and we need to actually see what's on this list. Included on the list of boxes that have to be ticked include owning a car, have a hardworking mindset, be funny, love traveling or want to travel, be forward and confident, and be good at communicating. And while most of those have been accepted by Alicia's followers after she did a TikTok video explaining it all, a couple of the other bits haven't gone down too well for her fans. One person wrote, delusional, you'll be a single cat lady forever. And by now, y'all are probably thinking to yourselves, well, Runter, you know, having a car, having a job, being funny, being confident, those are totally normal things to look for in a partner. And 100%, I agree, but the list's uh, latter half gets a little bit insane here. Some of Alicia's more inflammatory must-haves include a minimum and maximum penis size, must film unpaid OnlyFans content with her when required, and let her film with other men and women, having a maximum of one phone call a day and three texts, two dates outside of the home every week, and be willing to leave your work to run her daily errands for her. On the criticism, Alicia said, I know people will misunderstand or not completely agree with my dating non-negotiables. The people who do are the people that would be completely incompetent to meet them, and that's fine. I love the fact that she acknowledges the criticism by saying, oh, some of y'all just aren't gonna get it, and y'all aren't gonna entirely agree, almost like suggesting that we are gonna somewhat agree, like, nah, bitch, I don't think any of us self-respecting dudes that have, you know, a good job like you like, or driven, all that, are gonna agree with a single attribute you've pointed out here. Y you had us in the first half, not gonna lie, but the, but the second half is just insane. You know, never mind the dick size bit, you know, you've lost just about all of us right there in that department, am I right, fellas? No? Just me? 
Okay, anyway, moving on. Not only that, but as you'll see in a second, she makes a big point about how she's been cheated on in the past, and yet she openly demands that the guy here not only accept that she cheat, but also wants bro to film it for no pay, might I add. Nah, bro, I'ma be sick. When it comes to dating, the bar is honestly so low, it's practically in limbo at this point. If any motherfucker takes her up on this offer, I seriously don't know what to tell their sorry ass. You know, you need therapy or something. Cause your self-esteem is dialing the number for the crisis hotline, your self-image is on life support. But you totally know that there will be some simp-ass motherfuckers that are all like, Oh boy, gee whiz, you know, where do I sign? <laughs> how are you gonna come on here and bitch about loyalty and how it's seemingly a thing of the past, and then in the same sentence actively contribute to that scumbag behavior? And if that's not bad enough, she wants a man who's gonna jump the second she has errands to run, even at work, as if the world revolves around her. Like, dog, do you not know how the world works? What jobs are there out there that are just like, oh, you know, my girlfriend needs a ride to her dick appointment, or hey, my girlfriend needs her fucking nails done, so sorry, won't be at that staff meeting today. <laughs> like, huh? What the fuck am I hearing, man? She says the reason for the list is due to previous issues men have with her working in the sex industry, with her unwilling to compromise on her lifestyle for someone else. Yeah, because God forbid you can't show loyalty to your partner and, you know, not fuck other people while in a committed relationship. Judas Priest. I've ended past relationships with previous partners due to lying, cheating, like we talked about, being manipulative, jealous, insecure, really needy, getting attached really fast and becoming incredibly dependent on my time and attention to reassure their own security, she explained. Like, is there just no sense of self-awareness here? What, what, what do you talk about you leaving people for being really needy? Like, bitch, you were the most needy person I think I've ever had the displeasure of reviewing here on the YouTube channel. Talking about how we gotta jump through all these hoops and hurdles just to be with you. You know, we gotta, we gotta film unpaid OnlyFans content. You know, you showing off your bobs and vagine to the world and giving it up to everyone and anyone except for you. And we're just supposed to accept it, you know, take it or leave it. Like, come on, man, that's crazy. And then I love how she tries to play that whole, oh, you know, I don't want an insecure partner, blah, blah, blah. Insecurity, ugh, ick, right? As if she's not the most insecure person we've ever covered here on the YouTube channel. Because isn't she the same one that's all like, oh, you know, we got to have that phone call and get those three texts, you know, to make sure that you're not up to any shady shit or that you're communicating with me on the daily. Uh, two dates outside of the home every week. And, and I, I don't know, man. T to me, putting a requirement on communication, to me, that just screams insecurity. She probably thinks that he's going to go off and, you know, fuck some other bitch. Like... I'm, I'm so confused, man. Like, the hypocrisy here is just absolutely insane. Alicia currently has a live Google Forms doc where she is encouraging those who think they can meet her strict dating criteria to apply. So keep in mind that this is a grown-ass 32-year-old woman, and she makes a lot of money on the OnlyFans. And truth be told, I, I don't think she's the most attractive person in the world, but she's, like, decent-looking, right? And so if you're decent looking, you're 32 years old, and you're making a shit ton of money supposedly on OnlyFans, she, she's actually not because she's coming out here with all these demands, and yet she's like in the lower tier of OnlyFans creators apparently because she's only making thousands, right? That's neither here nor there. But that really kind of starts ringing the alarm bells in my head like, hmm, you know, maybe, maybe there's a reason, you know, you're decently attractive, 32 years old and make a shit ton of money and you're still single. Hmm, but what do I know? Not only that, but the fact that she's trying to meet people through a Google Forms doc is insane, bro. Like, <laughs> that that's like, I feel like that's something that like middle schoolers are doing today, right? You know, they don't got access to the Tinders, the Bumbles, all that shit, right? So they make a Google Forms doc. Oh, fill this out. This is like the woman-child equivalent of like sliding the note onto the guy's desk and saying, will you date me? Check the box. Like, what the fuck am I reading, bro? This is so childish. Like, go out and meet people like a normal normal person. Jesus Christ. I will never get tired of these stories where low quality women are like demanding the most out of these dudes. <laughs> and, and, and I would love to see like her success rate, you know, like how many Google Forms doc applications have slid through.
crew. I'm uh, I'm betting the number is pretty low, but guys, that's pretty much it for this one. I appreciate y'all watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like rating, subscribe to the channel for more commentaries just like this. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what y'all have to say about all this. And until next time, guys, this is Runter. Well, submitting my Google form doc to see if I have what it takes to date this woman. And uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm done yapping. Later.